Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for August the 6th. Today is the birthday in 1504 of Matthew Parker, Archbishop of Canterbury. Born in Norwich, he was the son of a weaver, was ordained in 1527. He was one of the Cambridge scholars that Cardinal Wolsey tried to transplant his newly founded Cardinal College at Oxford. But Parker, like his colleague Thomas Cranmer, declined Wolsey's invitation. He had come under the influence of the Cambridge reformers. He didn't want to stay with Wolsey. After Anne Boleyn's recognition as queen, he was made her chaplain. He was so close to Anne Boleyn, in fact, that after she began to suspect that she was being taken down, Anne actually asked him to look after Elizabeth for her, which he promised to do. He survived the reign of Mary I without leaving England, and after Elizabeth became queen, he was elected to be Archbishop of Canterbury. Parker was one of the primary architects of the 39 Articles, which were the defining statements of the Anglican doctrine. He wasn't really famous as being any kind of inspiring leader, there was no prayer book associated with his name, but the English composer Thomas Tallis did contribute nine tunes for the Archbishop Parker's Psalter, which bears his name. This was actually a way to share the Psalter in English with the masses through music. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com, where I have an article on the Parker Psalter.